this is so critical because God is a holy God and we have to take holiness and sin seriously. Look at what 2 Corinthians 7, 1 says. So then, dear friends, since we have these promises, let us cleanse ourselves from every impurity of the flesh and spirit, bringing, what's that word? Bringing what? Holiness to completion in the fear of God. This idea of holiness is that God cannot stand sin. He is a holy God, and we are to walk in obedience to Jesus Christ on the path of holiness, to allow sin to be chiseled out of our lives. First Peter says this, First Peter 1, 15 and 16, but as the one who called you is holy, God is holy. You also are to be holy in all your con- conduct, not just parts, but all of it. For it is written, be holy because I am holy. That is the God that we serve. You also are to be holy in all your conduct. Everything we do, we should be walking the way of Jesus. Jesus.